actually, who did the bulk of kind of producing on the album, you know, they're kind of half British, half American. And there's two American guys and one British guy in there. In there. So, I mean, I think for me, you know, I suppose growing up, my influences were, you know, very American. Um, in terms of the music I listened to, you know, I listened to a lot of people like, you know, Usher, Pharrell, um, Justin Timberlake, Neo, a lot, of, a lot of American artists. And I suppose that influence, you know, kind of grew. Um, my love for American, you know, music with American artists, and I think that's why, you know, I, I, kind, of, I kind of really worked very well with, I suppose, American producers um, when I was over there. But, you know, at the same time, I think, you know, there are definitely a lot of British, British producers that, even though they didn't um, eventually kind of get a track finally on the album, that definitely for albums to come, I could be working with them, you know, they're really so strong um, going, but it just seemed to happen that, it seemed that, um, like with them this time around, it didn't, didn't work out properly, but I think I definitely didn't expect big things from them. Some British producers like them. Um, I think when I first started, it wasn't um, so much kind of a plan. I didn't kind of think, right, if I do this on YouTube, I'm going to be a star. I think for me, it was just a hobby. It was something I enjoyed doing. Um, you know, I'd finish, I'd finish college and I'd go home and tell my mum that I was doing homework upstairs when really I was actually on the computer recording songs. And I think for me, it was just something that I enjoyed doing. Um, you know, just, I, I didn't, I didn't care whether it was, you know, a million people listening or just my mum and my nan listening to my songs. I think it was more about, it was, it's just something I enjoyed. And I think for me, um, the fact that it did blow up and the fact that it did kind of go crazy online on YouTube was just kind of, um, out of nowhere. Kind of, I just kind of did one cover one day of uh, Usher's OMG, and it was like my first cover to ever hit uh, about 100,000 views. And before that, I had like, you know, about 300 views. I was about eight on each video, and then this one for some reason blew up. And then the next video I did, I didn't know if it was going to happen again, and I did a cover of Neo's Beautiful Monster, which then hit a million views. So, you know, it was kind of, it kept growing and kept getting bigger and bigger. And yeah, it was just out of nowhere that it just started to blow up. And I think for me, um, you know, it was, it was just amazing that that happened because I never planned for it, I never expected it to happen, it just did. And I think, um, I never really decided, right, well, I'm going to go through YouTube, I'm going to do this rather than X Factor, I'm going to go through YouTube, I think it was all about, it was just something that I enjoyed doing, and I knew how to do it in terms of posting up online and then it just, went, just blew up out of nowhere. So I think for me, um, you know, yeah, it just, it just, it just made me want to prove him right and prove everyone else that had believed in me from the start that I could, that I could do something like that and, you know, you know, get to where I wanted to be and, and, and you know, make sure that they didn't believe in me for nothing. I wanted, you know, I had kind of Pharrell um, work on my first album before I didn't release anything, you know, he had no idea if I was going to be successful or not and he believed in me. So I think for me it was all about kind of giving back and producing and, and Proving them um, right. So I think for me, hopefully, I can continue to see. Uh, in, in my music, as I say, kind of when I was much younger, I listened to people like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, which is kind of more that more classical thing. But right now, kind of my, my main kind of influence is quite hip hop, quite you know, like Drake, Jay Z, Kanye West, um, more of the kind of processed music. And I think for me, you know, there I mean there are songs on the album where you know piano and stuff is included. There are songs like Just in Case and on the album that are kind of much more piano based and that kind of thing. But I think. At the same time, you know, the songs that I was working on, the ones that seemed to work really well were the kind of ones that were much more, much more kind of um, heavy in terms of the pr production. I think for me, I, it obviously gave that pressure, like, okay, right, I've still got to allow my voice to, to come through. I don't want it to just be about production around me and not so much about me. I wanted it to be about, you know, a great song, you know, where the vocals kind of complement the music and it works the other way around. So, um, yeah, I think it, that was just kind of the influence that I had at that time when I was creating the album and maybe you know, more, with more music to come, there'll be more classical stuff, but I think for this one, it's kind of much more about um, being in the current kind of musical um, scene and, and, and working with that. So, so, kind of being on the kind of the outside of it and looking in, it's, it's kind of weird to see my friends in Brighton because it's almost like, they're almost like a famous group of friends now. Like, my, my best mate has like almost like 10,000 followers on Twitter and like, <laughs> he does nothing. Like, but people like my fans are kind of just love to kind of get, um, you know, a part of me through my friends or through my brother or all that kind of thing. And I think it's cool for them because I like to keep them involved and everything. I don't want them to feel that I've just gone off and left them. You know, I want to, I want to bring them with me wherever, wherever if I do a show. I want them to be there. Um, if I go to a festival, I want to bring them along so they can have fun. And uh, yeah, I try and keep them involved as much as possible because, you know, I don't want to leave them behind. Um, what did they say about your yeah, they actually, they enjoy it. Like, I mean, I think, um, for me, um, my music is pretty much based on what would me and my friends listen to if we were having fun, or what would we want to hear in certain situations. I think for me, you know, they're definitely fans of um, being in a club and going, Houston, here we go to Brown, and they definitely, definitely love doing all that. So, um, so yeah, I think it's definitely uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, they really enjoy it. So.